Hello, Mr. Kant. Hello and welcome to DTWG the Prep. Welcome. Okay, so in today's video, uh, we're going to be looking at the GED RLA test, and we're going to be looking at um, you know, this is a text, and uh, we're going to be focusing on finding the details in a text. Um, the first video I did in RLA was um, knowing the main idea from a text. Okay, so now this we're focusing on finding details in a text from a question so we have a question here this is the question here we have okay so um to answer the question i will show you tricks i'll show you tricks on how to not waste time okay in reading the whole text all right and before we get on to the video please if this is your first time on this channel um just a brief introduction dtwg the prep is a channel um, on YouTube where we support students with free videos on maths, um, your science, your social studies, and also your RLE, okay, to support you to make sure you pass your test. Also, you can check out our website for summary notes and study guides. You, you need a guide on what to read for your RLE, your maths, social studies, and your science. Also, practice questions. Just go to dtwgdprep.com. Okay, we also have a Facebook group. You can join over 7,000 members to also support you, to motivate you. You know, you have several questions uh, that you have, that it's on your mind, maybe in your states, things like that, things like that. So, uh, you know, you can ask a community, there might be people in your states that uh, would have passed through what you've gone through that would help you. Um, you know, find your way in getting your GED. All right. So I'll leave all the links, all the links, also um, links to several books and uh, your GED calculator um, to get them the best books to get for your GED. Okay. So I'll leave all the links there. You can support me by using my Amazon affiliate link. And finally, if you require one-on-one -on -one tutoring, you can also contact me. I'll leave all the details there, my email, everything in the video description box of this video. So let's get on to the video now okay now um let us look before you go before you get into a text all right um uh, instead of just reading through all right go to the question now it says here which of the following is the earliest form of invisible ink now these are the options now you go through the options it says here blood lemon juice milk water now, this is the first uh, the first option here, answer option here, it says blood. You can just scan through, scan through the text. Do you see anything like blood here in the text? I can't see any word like blood here, all right? So blood definitely, you strike that out. It won't be in our answer. Now, the next one says lemon juice. Now, do you see lemon juice here? Yes, I see lemon juice in the first paragraph. Here is lemon juice. Okay, so we just we just asterisk that. All right, do we see milk? Yes, I think I see milk here. Yes. Okay, do we see water? Water anywhere here? Anywhere in this particular passage? Anything? Just scan through it. Do we see water? No, there's no water. So we strike out blood and water. It can never be part of our answer. So what we focus on now is two. That's the way the GED options are. There will be two that would never be the answer, and there will be two that your answer will be between those two options, okay? So now we now have to give an in-depth reading on those two options to know if um, the correct one. Now the first one says lemon juice. Now the question says, which of the following is the earliest form of invisible ink? So the, now, so the, the option we're looking at, lemon juice and milk, is lemon juice the earliest form of invisible milk. Now, let's go to where we see lemon juice, the paragraph. Okay, you don't need to read all the text, so you don't waste time. So let's go to the paragraph where we see invis a lemon juice. Now, it says here, invisible ink has a very long history. During the Middle Ages, lovers would send notes in invisible ink. Spies throughout the ages have used invisible ink to send secret messages. The oldest known ink for these secret messages is lemon juice. Can you see this? This is our answer, as simple as that. The oldest known ink, the oldest means the earliest form, 
of invisible ink is what lemon juice so lemon juice is the right answer okay but uh, let's 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 continue here it says although milk is also satisfactory milk is not the answer okay because milk is not the oldest known invisible ink used for secret messages so the right option between lemon juice and milk is what lemon juice you can see how easy this is so you don't need to go through everything just go to the option you know get where the the you just like okay we see we, we saw blood we go you scan through that was no, there's nothing like blood in this in this particular text so it can never be the answer water also there was nothing like water it can never be the answer the only word we saw is lemon juice and milk which the word lemon juice is here and milk is also here so between these two now, which will be the correct answer? Which will be the earliest form of invisible ink? So we go and uh, read where lemon juice is mentioned in the passage. And it's here. It says the oldest known ink for this secret message is lemon juice. Okay. Or, and it says, although milk is also satisfactory, it is not correct. Milk is not correct. Lemon juice is the all right so uh thank you for staying tuned to the end of this video and uh you know uh i would al always want to remind you to please okay give your life to jesus christ for he is coming soon all right and he's also the way he's the truth and he's the life he's the one who will help you know all of us set our lives on the right path give us strength to grow promote us equip us strengthen us you know this life is a race that we all need strength one one time or the other one season or the other of our lives and it's the one everything good we find in christ so he's calling you today to accept him as your lord and personal savior all right and he won't give up on you all right or disappoint you for he's the one who's going to lead us after death, there's also another life, uh, which is making heaven at last. He's the one who's going to lead us to heaven, okay? So where there's no joy, where there's joy, I mean, where there's no sorrow, I mean. Where there's no sorrow, where there's no pain, where there's no crying. Where it is always joy, always. He's the one who's going to lead us to heaven at last. All right, so please give your life to Christ. And don't forget to please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And give this video a thumbs up, share. If you have any questions, have any questions, please uh, just drop a comment. All right. Have any questions, you drop a comment below. All right. So thank you and see you in our next video. Bye.